Welcome everyone to another fun video I didn't plan to make the failed state of e-government in Germany. I made a quick poll. Should I do it in English and German? Die Selbstzerstörung der Held, der Code held am Feierabend. <laughs> the self-destruction, the, the code hero. <laughs> some German YouTubers, just some gag. So the failed state of e-government. Should I do it in English, English or German? Maybe it would be more funny in German, but probably for the international audience it is probably better to learn some some more how not to do stuff when I do it in English. All the Germans, if I should should I do it again tomorrow in in German on the more life generally leaving the console. So today I made the mistake um, of filing the application for our now three-year-old after the freaking pandemic for kindergarten, right? So how bad could it be? And so I have to, I'm sorry to say this, this status, is, it's, it's so failed, it's unbelievable. Um, in Germany we have the right, um, everyone from the age of whatever, one, one whatever or earlier in some cases, to have a kindergarten place even for free, right? And but this, this failed state of e-government, it's, it's basically everything, right? Just today, it's one of those, those days, it's like, how can it be so like, like paper, right? We, at the end, we get to paper, like, right? have you faxed it already? Um, the thing is, so, and so maybe we should say what the ideal state would be, right? not that we are only here, we are so clever, more clever than all the politicians and stuff. Hey, maybe me for president or so, <laughs> election below. In an ideal world, I would think when a child is born or other things like taxes and stuff, the government government usually has already quite some data, right? And certainly you're registered somewhere and stuff. What I would expect is that if there is, like it's normal eventually to bring a child to the kindergarten, in our case, it's now only a little bit delayed due to the pandemic, obviously didn't want, I mean, they were closed for the most part and then we didn't want to get instantly ill anyway. Um, but no matter what, so like I would, expect that more stuff is automatic, right? The government has all the data for even Texas, right? Although this, this case is insane, but also Texas, right? You need to file so much shit. Also, we now had some additional property state tax stuff where we had to supply the government data that the government had already had. So like the most people in Germany are, are pretty pissed right now, to say the least. But in such cases, even Texas, I would expect the government present me a web interface of all the stuff reported and not like I always need to bring everything again and again. And ironically, as a business owner, we report stuff and then privately we need to report it double and triple. It's hilarious. In this case of this kindergarten place, right, I would expect that the government even sends the stuff, right? I would expect this to be fully automated, right? Either we get a letter or, hey, a freaking email, right? Government, <laughs> have you realized there is this electronic email in, in this Neuland for quite some decades? Or I would expect to find a kindergarten, whichever we would like, German speaking, English speaking, Ukrainian speaking, what, whatever speaking, full, not full, I mean, they're a little bit over full right now, like you find a place or whatever, or get, get it allocated, like that we just go to the kindergarten and say, hey, do you have a place? We want to bring our child here, right? And they like take care of, send it to the government with some electronic stuff, but no. Although it is by law that we have the right for a place in the kindergarten for, for long already, we need to actively apply for that, right? And the crazy stuff is, the form looks like this, right? Then you need to Google also like this website. They look like this, like legally, that legally, like more information, whatever. It's like all I wanted is bring my freaking child eventually, finally, not to the kindergarten. Eh? Eventually, so the problem also there are multiple things. Initially, I found this form. So the problem is also like each freaking form is different, and then each local area is managing that themselves, right? So depending on where, in, even in Berlin, right, and all the whatever 12 or whatever districts here, you need to even apply to freaking local dist district, right? And you need to apply. And so the form for that, and there, it, we come to the, I mean, this is basically all, all that's failed, right? Why, why are we here? I mean, hey, it's a PDF, 30 years of PDF. Wow, PDF form. Um, this obviously, not the most welcoming form, um, including uh, then it's also 
handicapped and whatnot, why do they even, okay, special care, but also uh, some details here, it's like, like, like due. But the problem is the government has all this data, right? Again and again, for taxes, for property, for this, for every small freaking, in an, to describe an ideal state, I would want, like, if the, ki if the kindergarten can't manage it themselves, like, hey, we have child name, ABC, whatever, Elon Musk, Xi 413, whatever they named their child these days. They registered the government as the kindergarten, right? But the problem is, all of this stuff, like, in each freaking form, we start to like, it's, it's, it's 1812 or whatever, the name kid's name and, and they freaking have the data already right but the crazy stuff is at the end of this bloody form and then it's also the usual like additional like i, w I was already here somewhere um the problem with this forms i op sometimes overread the stuff you read this and then here's also only when it's less than one yeah after this so because i started to click here the stuff and stuff and then it's like oh only when after the first why do they even have the special conditions um that affect next to nobody like only like if you are alone mother alone and stuff and then you even need begging in the first year and proof additionally like why do they make for single parents it even more complicated to bring even freaking more paper right and the craziest stuff of this I filled this out already because I didn't find something. Then when I filled it out, of course, I wanted to send them an email, right? Did you, did you think you can email this to them? No, so no, no, no please print it. Uh, where, where is it now? Like print it and, and bring it or send it. Yes, like, thank you very much. Only then eventually I found on another side. And so this is all this complexity, right? Again, I expect either the, with the birth of the child, they sent us this, they call it even freaking voucher. How can you, when every, every child in Germany has the right for a place in a kindergarten, how can you call it a bloody kindergarten voucher? It's like, send, send this bloody voucher with the birth of our child, for God's sake, and not spend like hours, like every, like we don't even have time anymore, but we need to deal with this stuff, right? Somehow then with later with Googling thought I printed this shit already because of course of course I did. It's like when normal people don't even have a printer anymore. Then somehow I found another site. So the, of course they are all this it, earlier I was on some other site, but hey, there is an online application, amazing, for which you need to register for some Berlin DE site that I never had to register before. It's like yeah, e-government, you have a dozen accounts. I have of obviously the tax account, uh, Elster which of course you need to have a bloody, I mean, that's obviously too expected, but I have so many accounts already. I thought I have it. I was looking in my government account list. I had so many accounts, but not for this website. Of course, I registered to the 12s website and then start here with this similar form. It's, it looks similar to this here. Of course, I need to file, not, not in my ideal world where the government Obviously, has your data you put in there, your tax number, or whatever, your public ID. Yes, there are problems with government hoarding data, big data, and managing. Of obviously, we have the discussion of matching one tax ID with all your data. But I would say there should be some kind of central place, some central authority, because I mean, obviously, they have your tax data anyway, right? You can always like how much data should they have, and so on. But I'm sick and tired of printing shit. And also, I would say, then make it so that there is some open directory protocol thing, some government ID thing. Obviously, all this stuff should not auto, should not necessarily automatically connect it for data privacy and stuff. But hey, the government has anyway. I mean, the, even if you freaking fax it or print it, the government gets your data anyway. Then maybe make it so that there is some central government citizen ID authority and so you need to click like there is a login and you have different forms like in Elster and ironically Elster the tax payment also the, the name right of this bird that steals all the glittery things right German um, German jokes even in tax processing services ironically the Elster side I would say I would rate the best German, I mean, the tax side, is it in America also that the IRS has the best, I mean, the money, they make sure you, you want to 
sent to them, right? I would say some centralized government site where if you like click on the like they have all the data, right? Your name, your wife's name, you they have all the collected data, you they have it in a file and registry anyway. Obviously they have the registration of the birth of your child and so on. I mean what is there to argue? What data should they have? I mean they obviously have it. Probably in old fashioned paper form, somewhere printed in the basement. That if you want to collect this data for this other agencies, like a list, a search, obviously a search, you don't want to get through 500 different applications for your, I mean, if it's not automatic, I, I, ideally I would want this fully automatic, but at least then like one click, register your child for freaking kindergarten and then have this form automatic, uh, don't even have this form, right? I mean, they know all this stuff. I mean, just give me the freaking kindergarten watch already. The craziest stuff, and obviously after I printed this shit, instead of emailing it, I found this online form. The online form is similar, it's a little bit simplified, but you will not believe, right? The, the reason why I make this video, why, why I really had, I, you will not believe how much time I spent for the child support money when I wanted to spend some months at home on, on child support. It was nearly impossible for me self-employed. I, I researched it for eight hours. I really wish I had, had done this eight hours of kindergeld and plus and stuff for my wife and me. Self-employed, super difficult. I ha would have had to send the bilance of my company and stuff. It's like, pff, and then I would not even, I had to even pay it back if my company makes uh, similar like profit like last year, I would even get a minimum of 100. 150 euros. I think I didn't even I stayed at home for free because filing for that was so complicated as a business owner that I was like saying. Anyway, at the end of this online stuff, right? Your online application was successfully sent. Now please important, please freaking print it. So the bloody online form at the end was the freaking same. I had to print the freaking like so the only because why? Probably because we have to sign it. Can't obviously not make it digitally with certificates, God forbid. Important, please print it, please sign it, and please, with the additional application material, if any, I hope none, send it to the send it to the address. You can't you can't make this up. This is the state of online applications in freaking Germany. Um, the craziest stuff is after I filed the stuff, I got an email. They can do email. E-government. The future is now in Germany. I got an email notification. Hey, you have a new message in your new Berlin DE online account thing. Of course, I. what did I do? I, of course, I logged in. The message was, Kita online Antrag here from today. <laughs> Dear Mr. Rebe, uh, your application will be processed. As soon as you printed the shit, yes, I, I read this already. Thank you for double reminding me. So thank you for notifying me that your notification is a reminder to freaking print this stuff. I, I'm speechless. Um, at the minimum, again, I said it, I, I said it all, right? So do I need to say more? And this is the same for each freaking, I mean, this is just because I had to do it today. Um, and I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that after two years of pandemic, where there were no online applications, uh, there were no, there were no, there were no in-person applications, that everything became a little bit more online, that this, ladies and gentlemen, is how not to do e-government. And I heard it from people, they worked in Czech, and they said everything was online. I hear it from people from Ukraine, they are shocked, they come here, even in Ukraine, it was more digitalized. You could argue, okay, maybe it is centralized and all the government or, or corrupt people could access data and everything can be more forged and stuff. That might be the case, but like printing everything in the new land of the internet is certainly also not a solution. And I, as a long-term Chaos Computer Club member and Congress and security research and stuff, sure, it needs to be implemented with the appropriate security measures and privacy data measures. But as I said, the government has all your data and name and birth date already anyway, 
and then at least make it so and I, I also don't want that all agencies have all my data necessarily but they will get it anyway and then as I outlined in the beginning of this talk make some open government open e-government directory service where all the services do, do not automatically get the data but that you need to authorize it the transfer and 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 Seriously, every expert will tell you, don't just look at me, Look, ask all the other computer scientists what we have done since the invention of the digital computer, the, the SUSE Z1 and 2 and 3 and IBM mainframes and PDP-11 and all the mini and micro computers and the personal computer and I heard there are no servers and, and cloud servers and serverless and I heard the future is already for decades but this is just and this is multiplied you cannot believe with how much time I waste with taxes monthly private taxes yearly all the other surrounding stuff it is it is astronomical amounts of time especially that you need to read this I for for the kindergate plus the, the child support money stuff for staying at home with your newborn I researched a whole day for eight freaking hours. I was reading all the fine print and researching and compiling all the data and copies of salary statements and whatnot to at the end only file it for my wife because it was too complete for me, com complicated for me as self-employed. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyway, that is uh, the state of printing, still printing your, uh, your shit here. It is, it is uh, unbelievable. Um, Leave me in the comments below how it is in your country, how amazing is it in the United States, uh, the free and United States of America, um, how, how amazing is it in uh, the, yeah, a anywhere overseas or in the EU. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. It's a, jo it's a joke. And with so many people, probably mostly older people, still electing the same old uh, same old politicians that run states to the ground and keep it keep the states printing I don't even see how this should change anytime soon I mean if eventually it has to change right we are basically decades back we, we have a decade long history of uh, sleeping over this change and um, yeah each time I have to deal with this I'm, I'm simply shocked and speechless so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Let's take a quick look at uh, the comments. Maybe I have the feeling it might have been more funny and anecdotal and, and doing that in native German. Quick look at the comments. Um, government have no incentive to make things efficient and useful. I mean, theoretically they have the incentive to save costs, right? Uh, instead, I mean, don't even get me started of the state of schools. Um, I always heard that the state of schools, even in Germany, is not amazing. I wish as an industrialized country the state would be amazing. Um, and now I start to see it. I mean, I, I, I mean, even in, in Western Germany, where I grew up decades ago, it was already not yet um, not amazing. And I heard it only became worse. And now, it, having with my three-year-old for some time already some family sport sessions a week in some school I'm probably need to be happy and satisfied that it's not a falling apart ruin it's I mean it's not the newest it's you can still use the gym there but is it totally amazing <laughs> unfortunately not for Berlin standards it's probably still over average given the area we are here uh, in or so but um, yeah, that is incentive, right? Instead of spending it for new highways, renovate some schools and get the stuff running. I mean, also the incentive. I mean, the incentive would also be saving money, um, saving tax tax dollars, uh, you or using at least the money for the right things, and uh, happy more happy citizens, right? Also productivity, right? How much time uh, and normal people even need to print this stuff at at work because. Modern people I heard also don't have a printer. I mean even we don't have a printer at home anymore each time We wanted to print something for the government the ink was dried up at home. I obviously Recycled that already don't need more printers than in the office um, But yeah, there, there are so many incentives um, but um, 
Edwin there makes an apple to the Netherlands where uh, have both a web interface and an app and income tax form comes prefilled. Yeah, I heard, I heard. This is why I said I want this prefilled. And the craziest stuff, for example, um, obviously I run a company, right? No, no surprise here. And self, uh, but what also makes me funny, I'm employed. What also drives me crazy, by the way, is also I'm employed in my own company as managing director. I'm counted as self-employed, right? So, for example, this is also I get this fixed salary. The government still counts it as self-employed, which makes a lot of stuff more complicated for me, um, including this Elterngeld, right? I could not justify for Elterngeld because I'm self-employed. Or, and the craziest stuff is that I, we, my company needs to report all the stuff digitally. <laughs> the future is now. And, for example, some, some things, I mean, obviously, I need to report the same stuff again privately, right? My salary, I report it twice, once for the company every month, and then at the end of the, of the year in our uh, yearly tax return stuff, and also the profit takeout. I when I take out profit from my company, when sometimes we don't do Linux and we actually make some profit, and I obviously need to report this digitally, and then the government wanted to have it again. Printed privately, um, or uh, they actually they want to double it. They, they want it printed as a, a shareholder meeting, uh, agreeing to some profit takeout, a protocol of that. And then they also wanted uh, in my private tax filings a uh, proof of. I mean, it's also crazy paying tax for that. And then they want to prove that I even got this. And then the crazy stuff is three years ago when I brought it there, I was in the area, I gave it personally. This bloody paper of my my tax my tax return. Here's this paper you want for my profit takeout, and then this person three years ago told me or four years ago, the person who got it like, why do you bring it? We don't need it anymore. You sent it already digitally or not? So yes, of course I did. Yeah, so then the next year you don't need to bring it. The next year I didn't bring it and I got a paper mail. It's like missing uh, missing. Uh, Annex for your tax filing, please send in your government profit takeout things. It's like last year you told me you don't want to have it anymore on paper. No, you complain you didn't get it from me. It's like you, you can't make this stuff up. It's like it's not as bad. I mean, seeing Louis, Ros Louis Rossman, it's apparently even more shitty in New York State or so, or New York City. But um, it could be so much better. And uh, it is absolutely insane. That it is not. It's certainly a testament of the established parties of 62, 70 plus year old and continuing to run the company in good old snail mail and fax uh, paper. Um, Edwin says, yeah, they have in the Netherlands apparently a single lock and method for all the government sites. Um, and again, I fully understand that this is argue, argue Albel, do you want one central thing? Um, I'm not, as I said, could also be some open directory thing that passes some data only when you would like to other subdivisions and subdepartments if you agree to that. But um, yeah, leave in the comments below what kind of data privacy. I mean, and but that's also. I mean, of course, there is a thing of my otherwise sometimes weekly IT news show that then break ins ransomware. By the way, I heard, I've not personally seen it, but I heard the German Elster IRS-like software thing runs allegedly on Linux KVM based. I was chatting with someone there on this some Cyber Trade Show some years ago when there was the Cyber Trade Show, and. Um, they said some engineer there told me because I was asking, hey, use some Linux stuff already or instead of some expensive software stuff and say, yeah, we run this on KVM already. Oh, cool. Allegedly. They could of course tell me all kinds of random bullshit, but maybe it's KVM virtualized. Maybe. Anyway. Um, Tropex said those incentives are not generally outweighed by the incentives by definition the government is multiple they really can be truly replaced. I mean that is true, but I mean um, politicians voted for this services for the citizens and it should be I mean 
they also constantly want to save. I mean, some governments want want to save money as well. Um, and when they want to save money, they should obviously make their government running efficient, right? And having people, I mean, if I would fully old fashioned, I mean, the only benefit of filling this online application is now they mostly need the signatures here from, from us. Um, and they have already all the data pre-filled. I would guess if I fill out this thing, there will be for sure someone sitting and typing all the stuff into the online form. Uh, is, I mean, what else should they do there, right? So given all the people hand typing at government services still all the data in again and again. Um, which is also, uh, by the way, what is theoretically the list of stuff you saw? This application stuff is also really long, right? Um, theoretically, I, I wonder, and that is the stuff, right? That is also the thing. Every website I read, they have different things. For example, the other website and even here, in this reminder, they only tell me to print it out and sign it. But on this website, they also say here um, ID copy. It's not mentioned in this other. So I really wonder, should I, I mean, no, they, I see it already coming. Here they only tell me to print it. Here they have ID. Do I need to add an ID copy? There's already the questions, right? Um, and why do you need an ID copy? I mean, I'm filing for a freaking kindergarten place for my child. And I mean, who, f faking your ID for a fake kindergarten place? Or I mean, they surely can look up the data where we are. It's, 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 it's bizarre. Also, um, here, a document that you registered there, although they have here ID. I mean, here they have ID and here they have ID or registration confirmation. Also, theoretically, they have here birth certificate of the child copy, but they didn't ask me in this form. So, I mean, would they notify me? Do they want to have it now or not? This is also, I mean, they, they must have it in the database. This is, this is so confusing, um, which is additional copies I would need to make now, right? Bringing the documents from home, putting it on the company scanner here of our scanner business. Um, and this is just adding. Uh, I probably should have said this earlier, right? Um, and then additional stuff for kids below one year, which is also insane, right? Imagine you're a single mom, usually mom, single parent, usually single mom. You're alone, under one year. You desperately want to get some hours to be able to work or for yourself or whatever the case might be. And you need to bring all this additional material um, study, uh, certificate, uh, apprenticeship, or confirmation from the uh, workplace that um, about your parental leave and working hours. It's like, like seriously, you can you not, those few percentage of single parents, can you not just freaking leave them in peace and give them a bloody uh, voucher already for um, the kindergarten? This is treated like criminals. Is this I have no further words. That's it for this video. Leave in the comments below and let's work on a better future and probably elect some sana politicians or so. See you next time.